þáttur með ykkur hérna á þessu mánudagskvöldi og ja eins og ég sagði áðan þá erum við komnir yfir í torfæru og línuna er komin heinsmeistarinn sjálfur sem að sigraði heinsmeistaramóti í torfæru í skýin það er Martin Mikkelsen frá Nóri Hello Hello How are you doing in Norway? I'm doing very fine yeah. because I just became world champion in Formula Offroad yeah. and that makes you as happy as a man can be Yeah, uh, you <laughs> came strong there it was a very much challenge Yes, it was definitely a hard challenge especially mm-hmm. from the Icelandic guys Yeah <laughs> and you and Snorri Thor you were <coughs> fighting uh, between the world championship until the final uh, round Yeah, we were Snorri was a good driver mm-hmm. and I I said that before he came that Snorri he will be the toughest competition of them all mm-hmm. and so it turned out to be I even said that on the speaker the first day that Snorri because he was a little bit behind in the beginning mm-hmm. I said he he might be on the top yeah <laughs> so you know he will go, going to challenge you yes definitely mm-hmm. he was the guy to beat mm-hmm. uh, what about your car uh, what is the name of your car uh, the name of the car is too insane mm-hmm. because I used to have the car insane mm-hmm. and when I sold that to Iceland we built too insane mm-hmm and uh, yeah uh, and you thought uh, all the time that uh, you and two insane you are best friends <laughs> <laughs> well we started to drive this uh, spring mm-hmm. and it was a little bit difficult to drive it in the beginning and i didn't perform very well mm-hmm. uh well in the first race i won but it was a little bit difficult to drive it especially in the speed tracks so you need some time to get acquainted with the car mm-hmm. and uh, as it was in Cheyenne I thought that uh, the car and me we had really become really good mates yeah uh, how is it in Norway the, this uh, sport is getting more and more uh, popular in Norway yes uh, it's like in Iceland I can see that the sport since 2012 I think mm-hmm. in Iceland the trend it the uh, turned around and it has bloomed and become much more popular mm-hmm. and I think the same is happening in Norway as well so the, the sport is growing and more and more people are building Formula off-road cars yeah and uh, the time that you have to spend in the car that is a lot of time uh, you mean building it or yeah, driving yeah, it yeah building it and uh, having, a, having having him good good driving yes uh, to build the car is extremely much work. Mm-hmm. We were four people working for an entire year mm-hmm. and we put 2,000 hours into building the car. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, how many competitions do you guys have in Norway? Uh, we have two competitions in one race weekend. So we have a total of seven competitions including the NES championship yeah mm-hmm. and uh, you guys uh, you watch many times the formal off-road in Iceland uh, could you please yeah. repeat do you watch the formal off-road in Iceland oh yeah we watch everything we can of course mm-hmm. we watch uh, all that we can on YouTube and we also go to Iceland every year and watch the Icelandic drivers so this year we went to Hitler Mm-hmm. and we watched the guy driving there because we had to know the competition and see how good drivers they have become since last year mm-hmm. uh, about uh, the competition now Norway are the world champions and uh, you you guys you are uh, always uh, there are more and more who are coming to the sport in Norway uh, who will be the next uh, person to win you mean yeah. <laughs> too insane uh, <laughs> well, hopefully, because we have built a car that is so good that we, we don't think we can build any better car. Because we are watching all the videos from our car and all the other cars. And we think that Twin Sen is performing very, very well. So I think and I feel that we are going to be a 
hard one to crack next year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there are also younger drivers like Joachim Knutsen. He's a good driver. Mm-hmm. He just has a little bit too small engine, mm-hmm. but he will probably be a very, very hard one to crack next year, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a lot of sa- sand in the competition, but uh, the car they could always drive in the sand. Drive in the sand? Yeah, in skiing. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean driving the sand? <laughs> uh, the mountains in uh, skiing are they good? Uh, you think they are so very tall? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are extremely tall, but that no, that's no problem because we have a huge engine. 940 horsepower mm-hmm. and a lot of torque and uh, it's so easy to drive it's like driving a Toyota Corolla you can just drive as slowly as you want up the steepest and longest hill you can Im- imagine mm-hmm. uh, you're coming to Iceland next year um, well we are not uh, sure about that because they're talking about uh, having the competition in Hilla mm-hmm. And we don't like Hitler so very well. We yeah. think it's uh, the hill are very short, mm-hmm. and it's too much water and too much mud. Mm-hmm. We like the normal Formula Off Road like they have in Ökerøy. Mm-hmm. So if it, the race will be in Ökerøy, we will be there one hundred percent sure. Yeah. But in Hitler, we have to think have to think about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Martin Mikkelsen uh, in uh, on Two Insane. Uh, thank you very much for giving us uh, your time. And yeah, and you went to. Uh, what is your car doing this winter? Is he just chilling in the garage? Yes, we have no problems with the car at all. All we have to do is to change the oil, and it's ready for the next race in the spring. Mm-hmm. Very nice, uh, Martin. Thank you very much for giving your time and congratulations on being the world champion. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope to Have see you next year. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Ja, Martin Mikkelsen og er afsaka ja, bjöguðu enskuna mína, það kemur bara fyrir bestu menn. En við ætlum að fara núna aðeins yfir í knarspinnina og næsta dagskar er að Dagný Brynjastóttir, leikmaður Selfoss í Pepsi til kvenna. Það er löku leik núna um helgina og eru enduð í þriða sæti og sem er nýtt félagsmett hjá Selfoss í kvennaboltanum þriða sæti með 36 stig Haustsólin á Majorka síðustu sætin í september